know why Pumpkin wouldn't let me be involved in the conversation between her and Gino. I mean, now I have to sit up in this hotel room and hope that he doesn't say the wrong thing. I've worked really hard in making the girls want to spend more time with me, and Gino could say the wrong thing because I'm not there to supervise him and make sure, hey, you're saying the wrong thing. Dude. Where's Plunkin? You ain't going to believe this What? What did you say to her? Nothing at all, dude. Why didn't she come up here with you? What did you tell her? <sighs> Nothing, dude. It went good. Are you sure? OK. Did you make her mad, though? No. She knows we got to leave, dude. She's going home. She told me to tell you bye. <laughs> Are you bye. sure? Yeah. Hey, I actually invited her to Florida. What? She said she's going to talk to Alona. Oh, my god. Hopefully, you done something right this time and didn't mess it Evidently, up. Evidently, I did something right yesterday. <laughs> what? Oh, whatever. She came and talked to me. Don't she even. She came to me. Uh, so, don't even. So I don't want to hear shit on the way to Florida. Whatever. Except, damn, you did good, baby. <laughs> what? Do not feed your ego like that. Gino and Pumpkin's conversation went great. Maybe it's one step closer to getting my family back. But before I leave out of town, I need to go stop by Dodo's house. Because I got some unfitness business.